Good morning everyone! Mabuhay! Are you all excited for our tour? Well, me too! Let me first welcome you all in this beautiful place, Baguio City! Which is the first thing that we think of it are the fresh strawberries and the cool weather. Baguio City is the summer capital of the Philippines. With its cool climate, making this a spot to escape the chaotic scenes in Manila. Baguio City is also home to tropical pine forest, lending the city the nickname City of Pines. The festival here is one of the most awaited events in the Philippines, and it is called Panagbenga Festival which held in February. Most of the streets are decorated with colorful flowers, meaning every corner is very Instagrammable. I am Alicia May, but you can call me Alicia. I am one of your official tickets for today who will give you a 7,107 reasons to smile. So what are the places we can find here in Baguio City? Let's go and join our amazing tour guide. Good day everyone! It's nice to meet you all and I welcome you to Camp John Hay. Camp John Hay is the mixed-use development which used to be a former military base of the United States Army established during the Philippine-American War in the year 1903 due to the serenity the place gives to American servicemen. But now, it has been transformed into a tourist attraction after the Americans turned it to the Philippine government in 1991. Now, the camp is filled with recreational attractions from canopy rides, trekking paths, paintball and zip lines, lodging, and so much more. It is also famous for having fine trees surrounding the camp. I am Dwen Rostro, your tour guide for this area, and I thank you for being with me. Let us continue the tour by moving to the next location, shall we? Welcome to Baguio Cathedral. Our Lady of Antome Cathedral, which is popular as Baguio Cathedral, is a Roman Catholic cathedral which was constructed in 1920 and got finished 1936. It's named from one of the titles given to Mary Mother of Jesus it is distinctive pink exterior, twin spires, and stained glass windows make it a popular tourist attraction in Baguio. As it sits on the top of the hill overlooking the city, it is known as the biggest church in Baguio. Let me to introduce you to the Botanical Garden in Baguio. Baguio's Botanical Garden is one of the city's most gorgeous tourist attractions. Its tranquil ambience provides a welcome break from hustle and bustle of metropolitan life. There are plenty of pine trees lined up in the area, as well as brilliant flowers, statues illustrating various Cordillera tribe traditions, and egrets who are more than eager to pose for a photo for a nominal price. Boggy's Botanical Garden is also a popular venue for travel gatherings and rides, as well as outdoor concerts and other public events. It is also pet friendly, has a nice settings for couples, has public restroom, and the best part is that there is no entrance fee, and it is open every day during daylight hours. However, this location is not wheelchair accessible, and the children must be closely supervised because there are pools where they may be fall in and flower picking is not permitted. Botanical Garden devote their resources to the study and conservation of plants as well as educating the public about the diversity of plant species found around the world. These gardens are also important for addressing human needs and giving happiness. So that's all. I'll be introduced to you to the next place to go to Perham Park. Perham Park has a size one boat that you can enjoy this place here in Baguio also, we can do a picnic here with the family, friends, and loved ones. Also, here in Burnham Park, there was a beautiful fountain that you can take with your family in front of the party. I hope everyone enjoyed and learned a lot from this trip. I would like to thank all of you for your precious time to watch us. And remember, take nothing but pictures and kill nothing but time. So, what are you waiting for? It's more fun in the Philippines, mabuhay!